Hey guys, how's it going? Now we recently did a video talking about how you can basically enhance the overall audio output of your Windows 10 or 11 PC. But what if there is zero audio on your Windows PC? I mean, that is still a common bug because, well, it's Windows. So bugs are a part of it. Now let's just skip the random jokes and get to the point. How do you fix having no sound on your Windows PC? That's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll be talking about seven super easy fixes in which you can basically recover the sound capabilities of your Windows PC. So without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, let's kick off with some basics. What if you just have the audio levels uh, set to a lower level or basically just muted them? Well, here's how you can change that. Press the Windows plus A key to open the action center. Now, click on the volume button to unmute the sound. Next, increase the volume to a higher level and check if the audio issues have now been resolved on your PC. Okay, so you've adjusted the volumes, fine. But what if the actual output device is not the one that you intended to? Maybe you have your headphones plugged in while the system feels that it has to output via a speakers which are just not connected. So you have to ensure that the right output device is selected. To do that, once again, press the Windows plus A keyboard shortcut to open the action center. Here, click on the arrow icon next to the volume bar. Now choose the audio device that you have connected to your PC and want to use for the playback. And that's it. Hopefully the audio should now be fixed on your Windows 11 PC. Adding on to this point, it's important to ensure that your cable is plugged in properly if you're using headphones or if you're using wireless products, then maybe just disconnect and try reconnecting them to ensure that at least the connection part is secure. Okay, so those were the simple steps. Now, what if you have a device plugged in or connected to your PC, but for some reason your PC does not recognize it? Basically what happens is that Windows thinks of that device to be disconnected or turned off or disabled. So how do you enable that? Well, it's quite simple. First, press the Windows plus R keys to open the run prompt. Here, type in mmsys.cpl and then hit enter. It'll basically open the sound window from the control panel. Now scroll down and look for your audio device. Right click on it and then choose enable. Once enabled, you can once again right click on the device and then select test to check if the sound plays through the speaker or the headphones that you're basically trying to use. Now, if those methods did not do the trick for you, maybe you can try fiddling around with Windows settings itself. I mean, with Windows 11, a new settings menu has been brought into place and well, let's just say it's not the most stable version yet. Press the Windows plus I key to open the settings page for Windows and then navigate to sound settings. Now, select the speaker that you want to use as your audio output device. After that, click the arrow right next to it to open the speaker properties. After that, if you see an allow button under the general section, click on it to basically enable the apps on your PC to use this device for audio playback. Once you've done that, scroll down and make sure to disable the enhanced audio toggle. Now, usually this is a setting that you should use. I mean, as I highlighted in my previous video of how to get more audio output from your PC. But nonetheless, if you're having audio issues in the first place, then I would recommend turning it off just to see if it fixes the problem or not. Similarly, also disable the spatial sound audio from the drop-down menu. Hopefully, these methods should fix your issues. I know another thing that you can do is that maybe there's an issue with the audio service on your Windows PC. What happens is that sometimes after a new update, that service can just get disabled or turned off. As a result, it's important to manually enable it. To do that, press the Windows plus R keys to open the run prompt and type in services.msc. It will basically open the Windows services window. Here, scroll down and look for Windows audio. Now double click on it to open the Windows audio properties. A new pop-up window will open and here, change the starter type to automatic and then click on the start button. Now click on apply and then click on OK. After that, just restart your PC once and check whether the issue has been fixed or not. Now the reason why audio services get disabled automatically is because Windows is dumb, but turns out it's not that dumb. I mean, it is quite smart in some certain areas. Basically what I'm trying to say is that maybe Windows can do the job for you in figuring out what the actual issue with your audio output is. To do that, just open the sound settings page and then scroll to the advanced section at the bottom. Here you'll find the troubleshoot common sound problems option. Click on the output devices button next to it. Windows will now start detecting the problem and fix the no sound problem on your PC. 
Now, if all else fails, this method would probably do the trick for you. Basically, what happens is that your audio output is, well, at the end of the day, a hardware that is trying to interact with your PC hardware. And the one thing that could be causing a miscommunication between both of the things are the drivers. So the best way to fix that is to just reinstall the audio drivers for your specific audio output device. To do that, press the Windows plus X keys and then click on Device Manager. Here, expand the Sound, Video and Game Controllers section and right click on your system sound card. From here, select Update Driver. On the next page, click on Search Automatically for Drivers. If a new update is available, Windows will automatically install it. However, that might not do the trick for you, which is why, like I said, you might just have to reinstall the drivers. In that scenario, just right click on it and then click on Uninstall Device. After that, restart Windows. Hopefully, Windows will automatically fetch the right drivers for your audio device when you boot your system up once again. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Ivan from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.